Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. There's lots on the agenda today, but for the purpose of today's video, we've got a really cool unboxing of some neck building tools that I can't wait to show you. Because I'm kind of an idiot, I forgot the SD card for my lapel mic today, so unfortunately I'm going to have to use these things. I hope the sound is okay. I'll do my best to make it uh, not terrible, but I do apologize for that. We might have to do some of it in voiceover. We'll see. So my friend Michael from ASA Guitars, who I've told you guys about before and whose knowledge in the guitar world I have come to trust intimately, put me in touch with or basically set something up here with Maximum Guitar Works. If you haven't heard of them, really cool website. I'll post the link in the description below. I think the guys over at Texas Toast made a video about their guitar templates. They've got incredible routing templates. That's not what I've got here today, but we do have some cool stuff from Maximum Guitar Works. They've got some great ideas. It's a long box, uh, and it's been a while since I touched base with them. So I, it's going to be a bit of a surprise for me too. I have a general concept of what's going to be coming here but I can't remember everything exactly. So we're gonna get this opened up and I'm gonna show you guys what we're dealing with here. Let's take a look. All right, I did have someone comment that they could see my address in a video recently. Luckily, all of this stuff gets sent to the shop. If you've got something you wanna send me, I'd appreciate it if you let me know first, but uh, that's where that stuff goes. So let's take a look here. What we should have, before we jump into this, because there appears to be quite a bit, what I'm expecting, are some radius blocks, including a compound radius block, and possibly, I don't know if it's in here, but they come out with one now that you can hook up to an inline sander, which is unreal. It can be a, an interesting way to do this quickly with power for a compound radius, which is something that you generally, I won't say you can't do it, but it's difficult. It requires a lot of practice, a lot of skill. I know Ben Crow can do it with a, with a belt sander, but he's Ben Crow. Not everybody can do that. So let's take a look. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. I don't know what else to say, but wow. Like this is incredible. It's heavy. It's beautiful. It's 12 inch, which I did request. It's got this stuff engraved right into it. And I can't see because I'm filming on my phone, but hopefully you can see handmade with care. For Brad Angle, if they even spell my name right, no R. This this thing weighs a ton. This is just amazing. So this is a completely different, completely different game than you know those inexpensive radius blocks. You can make those work. I've done it, but this is just next level. And it should go the entire length of the neck. So it's it's going to be a, a simple small movement to be able to do your sanding with this, as opposed to moving a little block all the way down. This is professional level it's what we need to be able to start making necks with some level of uh, consistency and at a reasonable pace this stuff is very well packed let's see what else we've got in here so i get down now to oh, okay this looks large and complicated there may only be a couple things in this package i can't can't remember um but it's certainly a big package and item number one will not disappoint it was heavy and very good quality so let's see what else we're dealing with i know this guy has a jig system i think that is what i think that is what this is here he's got a jig system and i am going to have to do a subsequent video for sure after i watch his tutorials and know how this system works let's make sure there's nothing else in here we are good. This is another incredibly solid piece. So this might be the clamping system. Gotta be careful here to do that compound radius work like I was talking about. This seems like it's probably set up so that I can bolt. It's probably a compound radius version. Maybe not. We'll see. So that I can bolt a inline sander onto this and then yeah this is uh well frankly i, I don't really know I, it's obviously a jig system it's got a center line oh yeah it's for clamping right in there <laughs> again made for brad and handcrafted in the u.s 
Oh yeah, and we've got these pieces of wood, and this is what you use these adjustments. Push these pieces in to clamp a fretboard or a neck into place. Is this for routing? It says fretboard radius neck hold down jig. So it's clearly for putting a fretboard radius in, but I wonder if I could also use it to route truss rod channels. It's, it's clearly not meant for that, so I'm not sure, um, but I might give it a try one of these days. Let's get this tape off. And then let's take a look at this radius sanding jig, or radius sanding block rather, and see if it's the compound radius one that I anticipated it is. All right, so these are the tools that I will need to fasten on the sander, which I'm gonna have to get my hands on. And once I do, I'll do a video demonstrating this more properly at least that's my assumption about what this is i really don't want to cut into this this is all so beautifully made last thing i need is to put a razor blade cut in it but gotta be careful oh yeah here we go okay so this is a compound radius block and this is the one that i requested it's from 12 to 16 and you can see here, it's got a couple places. So I think he, he may sell those inline sanders right on his website. I don't know off the top of my head, but you get one and you just bolt it right onto here and it moves this back and forth. And that is just beautiful. Whew. Gorgeous, gorgeous pieces of wood, gorgeous pieces of equipment. Really looking forward to, to working with this, to clamping something in here and putting some radiuses in without having to break in incredible sweat. Even with this, you're going to be able to, you know, it's, it's going to take the entire neck. So you're going to be able to do it much quicker, much more easily. This fits perfectly between here. I probably shouldn't be running it back and forth on top of these, but fits perfectly in between here. You clamp your board in and done. Don't have to worry about going off track, off path. Just run it back and forth. What a great system. And definitely going to work well with that powered one. Can't wait to work with this stuff. Looks beautiful. We are definitely going to have to demo this stuff in another video. And I think we'll also do a comparison. Uh, I have a few different radiusing options. So we'll test these out against some of the other ones that I have. But you can see by looking at this stuff, it's solid maple very heavy wood very hard and uh, and very well made so I'm really excited to work with this and give it a try it's gonna I can already tell make things a lot easier from the by hand system that I have I've also got a 12 inch radius router bit that we're gonna test out so we'll see how that works we may try one on the belt sander see if we can get a radius that way and then we'll, we'll also compare this, of course, against the other sanding option. I probably won't do a hand-carved version with a plane because very few people do that, but we might give that a try as well. We'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And remember to subscribe so that you can see, well, the test for this, the next that we're going to make, you know, all the usual good stuff. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.